Nintendo has always been about giving people more than they bargain for, and that ethos has seeped into the consoles they make. Not only that, but there are some awesome features in the Nintendo Switch's controllers that you may not have known about. Today, we're going to tell you about some of them. If this is your first time visiting us, then make sure you like this video, subscribe to The Gamer, and ring that bell to become a member of our notification squad so you never miss a video. Without further ado, here are some secrets hidden within Nintendo Switch controllers. Find the message. When Nintendo announced it was releasing the Switch, a lot of people were excited about the console's Joy-Con controllers, which really did look like something new, exciting, and radical. Now, while the Joy-Cons are wonderful devices, we love how it can be two controllers or one, depending on how you set things up. We get how there are going to be a whole load of people who prefer playing their Nintendo Switch in a classic, traditional way. That means docking it up to a TV screen rather than playing it in handheld mode and using a big, chunky controller. This is something the powers that be at Nintendo foresaw being an issue way back when the Switch was being developed, which is why it was a stroke of genius to introduce the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It kind of feels like a modernized 21st century version of the GameCube controller. Think about it. There's the analog sticks at the bottom, along with a directional pad. This is, of course, classic Nintendo. They're taking something from their past and moving it into the present. Heck, you could argue they're moving it into the future a little bit too. If you got a Switch Pro controller, then you may well think the design and the controls are all there is to the device. Well, we hate to say it, but if you thought that, you thought wrong. While looking around in-game for Easter eggs is now one of the most fun ways to play a game without actually trying to get to the end of the main storyline, here, Nintendo have taken that idea out of their software and put it right into their hardware. If you know where to look, there's a secret message hidden within the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. We're going to tell you how to read it and what it says. Before we tell you, here's what not to do. You don't need to dismantle your controller. You don't need to shine a light on it, reflect it in a mirror, or turn it upside down. In fact, you don't need to be playing a game necessarily. All you have to do is take the controller, put your thumb on the right analog stick, and pull down. Once you've done it, take a good, hard look at the top of the analog stick, right where it meets the controller. If you look carefully, you can see a message from Nintendo. It says, thanks to all game fans. It's easy to miss and it is not easy to read, but it's a great secret to discover. Phone controller. They've always said that variety is the spice of life. However, traditionally speaking, you can argue Nintendo is a company which both affirms and rejects that particular proverb. On one hand, the company's consoles have always had a seriously wide variety of games available for them. No matter what generation of console and no matter what genre of game, there's been something for the Nintendo gamer which has always been at the top, if not the very pinnacle of gaming. However, there's a counterpoint to all the wonderful games you can play on a Nintendo. Let's put it like this, there isn't a lot of crossover between Nintendo and its rivals. A lot of the best games for Nintendo consoles are either made by Nintendo themselves or they're licensed exclusively to the company. It's not a new development either because it's been a thing with Nintendo since way back in the 80s. It was their way of ensuring gamers develop some brand loyalty and obviously the great games help too. In fact, if you remember the old Nintendo seal of approval, that was a way of showing people these games were made by respected companies and not some fly-by-the-night firm. Again, it was a way of showing that with Nintendo, you had things no one else could deliver. Now, bearing that in mind, the next thing absolutely blew us away. You see, it turns out you can use your Joy-Cons for something other than the Nintendo Switch. We aren't talking about another Nintendo console either, no. You can use the Joy-Cons on your mobile phone. Pretty cool, right? All you have to do is disconnect the Bluetooth connection on the Switch and get it looking for something else. The something else in question could be your phone, allowing you to play some of the great games with it, like the N64 classic Ocarina of Time. It can also serve as a controller for your computer or tablet, meaning there's some extra gaming controls for you. It isn't just that though, because you can use it as a sort of mouse for your smartphone or PC. 
Again, it's taking the Joy-Cons and by extension, the Switch itself and giving it a whole new level of accessibility. Okay, how good the Switch's controllers are outside of the Switch is a matter for debate, but it's a pretty cool feature. Sure, PS4 and Xbox One controllers could do this as well, but it's an awesome addition for Nintendo. Playing on either of those controllers isn't as exciting or cool anyway, because the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller can last forever on a charge. Wii Nostalgia When Nintendo brought out the Switch, it broke the mold. This is something the company absolutely loves doing, and the long-term Nintendo fans will know of one time when it did something which meant other gaming companies are still having to play catch-up, if they can dare to even attempt to follow suit. The Nintendo Wii was, and there's absolutely no pun intended here at all, a game changer. Back in the day, playing video games was an absolutely sedentary habit. You plugged in the console, turned it on, and sat down for the entire session. While it was a heck of a lot of fun, even we have to admit it wasn't exactly the best form of exercise. However, when the Wii came out towards the end of 2006, Nintendo, once again, ripped up the rulebook. While the Wii had some amazing games like Super Mario Galaxy, which is right up there on the list of our favorite Mario games, what set it apart from the likes of PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 was how you could play it. Yes, motion control gaming was here, and the Nintendo Wii was getting gamers and their families off their couch and onto their feet. It was classic Nintendo, doing something different enough to get people who otherwise may not have cared about gaming playing video games, opening up a whole new audience. Now, while the Wii had a successor, the Wii U, it was a step back for Nintendo, or maybe a sit down to the older style of gaming. However, there's one slight difference, which will bring back some happy memories. It turns out the Joy-Cons had a motion sensor all of its own. It's true. It might not be as sophisticated as the Wii's, but it's there. All you have to do is put your Joy-Con on a flat surface where it could track your movements, and there you go. This only works with certain games. World of Goo is perhaps the most notable one, but finding out about this has got us very excited at the potential for the Nintendo Switch. While this feature hasn't been hugely publicized, it's still very cool, and it's got us thinking that we haven't got anywhere near the bottom of what this system is capable of. It also makes us think we could have some great Wii-style games on the Switch one day. We certainly hope there will be. Okay, we aren't sure what they'll be like, whether they'll be something like a Switch Fit, for instance, but one thing we are pretty sure of is that if it does happen, Nintendo aren't going to let us down. They're going to deliver. Hiding in plain sight. Some things are secrets because they're hidden away and only reveal themselves to someone who's deliberately looking for them. Either that or they're somewhere where people might be looking, only to reveal themselves to the most observant. However, there are some things which end up being a secret because they're so obvious, we take them for granted. There are some awesome features of the Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons which fit that category. If only you take the time to think about it and realize that's exactly what they are. If you've been playing video games on a console at any point in the last 10 to 15 years or so, you'll have had problems with your controllers. We're pretty sure you'll have misplaced your wireless controllers, or you will have run out of batteries, or you'll have needed to charge them at precisely the most annoying moments. While with the Joy-Cons, the Nintendo Switch just totally avoids those problems. When you've got a controller which can be attached to the console, you aren't going to lose it very easily. Also, the way it charges itself when it's plugged in also means you don't need to worry about keeping the controller's battery up, even if the Switch itself needs a charge after a fairly intense session, of course. Things like this seem obvious when you think about them, but it's to Nintendo's credit that they're simple, built in, and just seem there. It's kind of like a throwback to a previous age while simultaneously being totally modern. Hey, that sounds like it could easily be Nintendo's mission statement. Talking of which, here's another classic piece of old school style gaming, which the Switch makes so, so easy. Local multiplayer. Back in the day, before the internet was a serious thing for gamers, it was the only way to take people on in video games. With the rise of online gaming, it sort of became a little bit old fashioned. Having your buddies around for a long gaming session was no longer the thing. The fact that a lot of consoles were sold with just one controller, and controllers were expensive, reflected the new way of gaming. 
However, the way the Joy-Cons are designed means you've technically got two controllers as standard. In turn, this means there's more of an instant scope for local multiplayer gaming among your friends and family. Again, this is something you might not automatically think of as a secret, but it is, simply because you haven't thought about it. It's all part of the brilliance of the Nintendo Switch, and we give it a big thumbs up. Turn on your TV. When Nintendo released the Switch in March 2017, it was only natural that people were going to get excited. After all, when it comes to the big video gaming companies, Nintendo pretty much operates in a world of its own, subject to its own rules. The Switch kept to that Nintendo tradition, because you can either play it as a portable handheld system or rest it on the dock attached to your TV and play it like a traditional console. There's a kind of flexibility which makes it a true hybrid system. If you choose the second of the two options, there's a feature which is incredibly useful and it should fix a problem which, if we're being honest, all gamers have faced at some point. Now. We've all faced exactly this one particular problem. You want to play on your console, you're all ready, you know what game you want to play, and then you can't find the TV remote. You know you had it, but you can't remember exactly where. You look all over. You check to make sure it hasn't gone under anything on the table. You go under the couch. You wonder whether you brought it into the kitchen by mistake, but there's absolutely nothing that can be done. It's gone. No awesome gaming action for you. Well, now, if you have a Nintendo Switch, then that particular problem should hopefully end up being a thing of the past. So pay attention and you just might learn something. If you have the Joy-Cons, which if you have a Switch, you should have, considering it comes with the console, then you can use it to turn on your TV. That's right, having to worry about where you put your remote control is no longer an issue. Just press the home button and your set should switch itself on for you. It really is as simple as pressing a button. The feature should already be activated with the console. However, if for some reason it isn't, then you'll be able to find it under the TV settings menu. Hopefully you've been able to find your original TV remote to enable the switch to turn on your television for you. What's even better is the same trick works if you've decided to purchase the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. We must admit, we do like this concept. It's definitely not new, but it reinforces the Nintendo Switch as being a little bit more than the average games console. Whether you use the Joy-Cons or you play with a Pro Controller, you have to admit, this is a great example of Nintendo thinking outside the box and giving gamers a useful extra feature. And that's all for today's video. What's your favorite Nintendo Switch controller secret? Did we leave any good ones out? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.